the demonstration. Come on, Blue. All right. Uh, let me have um, Gerald. You're going to be my partner. You get right here. Okay. All right. We're, we're going to, before we start shooting, we're going to warm up our shot. We're going to make, we're going to warm up our shot. We're going to make sure that we're shooting with good form. Remember a couple of things that are very important to good technique. This is the drill I got off of the shot doctor who has hit 189 consecutive th free throws. He hit 89 consecutive three pointers. So if you think your way is better, think again. He knows what he's talking about. The first thing that we want to do is we're going to, everybody, we're going to use a straight line. And you're going to get across from a partner. You put your shooting foot on that line, your, your non-shooting foot slightly back. Second, your shooting elbow every time. Your shooting elbow needs to be above your shooting knee and your shooting foot. Third is how we hold the ball. The easiest thing to do right away is to find, and you ought to do this when you free throw, when you have time to do this, is find the air hole. Your index finger and your middle finger, for most players, should split that air hole. Okay, there are a few exceptions. I'm not going to go into that right now. Your non-shooting hand is soft on the side of the ball almost where your thumbs make a T. But the key is, is that you have zero offhand interference. Offhand interference is one of the primary reasons you miss shots. This hand, your offhand, gets in the way of your shot. Your thumb gets involved with the shot, you push, and that's why most of us shouldn't be shooting three pointers yet. We should be working on our shot inside where we can shoot a good shot with good form. All right, so we get our hand in the middle of the ball. The second thing or the next thing that I want you to emphasize is that when you shoot, you've got to feel that it's, if your ball comes off the finger pads of, your, of those two fingers in the middle of the ball, your index and your middle finger, it needs to leave the finger pads last. If it leaves the finger pads last, you have a better chance of your shot being straight. If your shot's straight, you're going to make more shots than you're going to miss. Okay? So we want a straight shot. And what we're going to use the line for is to see. That gives us immediate feedback, doesn't it? If our shot was to the right or to the left, or if we need to adjust. If your shot goes off to the side, a lot of times it's because it came off your pinky finger or your ring finger. So we're going to go here with a partner, right on the line. Notice my gooseneck here. These fingers are right here to the line. Another primary reason for missed shots is not enough arc. Ideally, we want to have arc about three feet above the rim so we have a better chance of the ball dropping in the rim. We accomplish that by getting our elbow above our eyes. All right, so Gerald, let's do a couple back and forth. Okay, not bad. Now hold this ball sideways, and that, that way we can see if we have really great backspin or if there's a wobble. The less wobble, the straighter the backspin, the better. Okay. Right on the line, it was straight. And you do this a few times. Every time, every day before you shoot, it helps you get your shot warmed up. And then we move in close and we start our warm up. So let's uh, have Gerald's partner. Who was Gerald's partner? Huh? Okay, Mitchell, get across from him. All right, Jeb, you get across from CJ right here. Now you're not shooting the ball to your partner, you want the ball to land. You can get it right here in the line. All right, Noah, right here on the baseline. Noah's partner will be Nick. Nick right here, facing Noah. And then let's have uh, 
Right on the half court line, Braylon and Charlie. Charlie right here. Braylon right here. All right, we're going to go three minutes. Actually, we're going to go about 90 seconds. See how many times you can land that ball on the line. Good back spin. Ready? Get that ball up. Remember, you need the arc. Okay. It's not on the line. That's giving you feedback. Hey, hold up! Oh, so hard! 